Welcome back, everybody. So it is the end of the month, and it's kind of a very rainy day today, so I figured it would be a great time to catch up on my Halloween thrift store shopping. So we have come to the Goodwill. I'm going to hit both of the Goodwills today in my area and check out what they've got for Halloween. So let's go on inside and take a look. So the first thing that catches my eye is this end cap and this massive metal pumpkin. I love the look of this. This is definitely a statement piece that you could put as a centerpiece or just some decoration somewhere. Nine bucks. A little pricey for the Goodwill in my opinion, but it was uh, probably well worth it. Unlike these candles, not a big fan of them. That one looked kind of like a bit of a hodgepodge. And here we've got a little pumpkin man that you can sit on the shelf for a few bucks. Honestly, you can get a lot of that stuff at the Dollar Tree. And I tend to make that same complaint in a lot of my videos about stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, some of you out there think that comes off as a little bit negative, so I apologize. But uh, to me, if it's a Dollar Tree product, I don't want to find it at the Goodwill for a few bucks. It should be a dollar. Anyway, um, those jars were kind of neat. I really liked the color of those marbles inside of them. They were that dark orange. That's beautiful. Anyway, the orange colors always catch my eye, like these flowers here. But uh, again, I think that's something that we could maybe DIY and make it look a little bit better. Here we've got a plate in the dish aisle. Now the plates kind of bug me a little bit because you could display it. That's probably the best way to do it. But if you put something on the plate, you're not going to be able to see the pumpkin design. Speaking of pumpkins, here's a bowl. This is a better uh, dish that you might buy. Five bucks, but... Ooh, and it's actually very heavy with nice lead, but you retain that pumpkin shape if you want to display it. Anyway, there's a little sign in the picture section. I always look at the pictures in the books. You never know what you're going to find. Didn't find anything in the books this trip, so I kind of skipped all that. We're not showing any of it. But in the uh, sort of candelabra section, or well, this was on an end cap, but I always look for candelabras. This one's got a lot of nice uh, little dangly bits. I think we could make something out of that if we wanted to. If anything, gives it a nice creepy aura. All right, but here is what we've all come for, the holiday section. So here somebody has clearly DIY'd one of those black funkins. Maybe they painted it black, I'm not sure. Can't quite tell what that design was. Here's another pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern with that little spider on the top. Makes it kind of cute few bucks, another little pumpkin. You can always find lots of these little plastic pumpkins all over the place. And relatively cheap, but I really should need to look into, like, I'm sure you can buy a bag of those things for a lot cheaper. And then maybe put them in a basket or something. You can get baskets by the truckload here at the Goodwill, as you can those little display figurines. Another little pumpkin. Is that a velvet pumpkin? Ugh. You know my... Uh, I, I detest the velvet pumpkins. All right, we've got a candle holder here that made of, uh, well, it's made of metal, but it looks like little trees with faces. The first, uh, faces kind of look a little cute. First, I thought it would be a little scary. All right, this could be a contender for ugly pumpkin of the month. Not really sure what that is. Another little tea light holder, probably. Another, we're getting the pumpkin dishes. Uh, um, everywhere this this trip. Another ugly pumpkin of the month contender. Hmm. Uh, it's an interesting design choice. I'll just say that. I actually have that soap dispenser with the boo. I bought it at the Goodwill a couple months back. Maybe more like a year. Gosh, time flies. All right. Here is a glittery pumpkin. A styrofoam. Very lightweight, but I like that it's wrapped. That glitter is not going to get all over you cute little bear holding a, what it looks like a duck in a ghost costume is that a line of something that i'm not familiar with all right this kind of bit kind of fall decor here with the uh, candle oh it's kind of like a broken candle holder on the inside pass on that a lot of the stuff that you're going to find at the goodwill is broken so you really have to be careful Oftentimes I'll find something, get so excited, take it home, and then finally notice that there's a chip or something when it's too late. So you really want to give your Goodwill items a once-over. Right. I'm not sure what 
What do you use that for? I mean, it's, it looks like it's a little small for a cookie jar, but uh, maybe spices or something. Oh, okay. I'm calling it. This is the Ugly Pumpkin of the Month winner. <laughs> Toss that back. All right. Some boxed items are always nice. Usually these things are loose because um, you can get those candle holders all over the place here. Mugs. I like collecting these. I use them for pens and pencils and uh, paint brushes and things. It just makes it more fun. All right, another pumpkin. And look at this mug with the glasses. It's, it's definitely a character. All right, uh, the light up pumpkin, another pumpkin dish. It's somewhat in the shape of a pumpkin, so I think you're not going to put anything large on that little dish. Is it just for display? I don't know. What would you use a little dish like that for? Ooh, maybe I should. I, I probably called the ugly pumpkin of the month a little too early. Look at this guy. I don't know. Which one is uglier? You let me know. All right, we've got a witch here. She's kind of stuck. And another witch. Is this, it looks like it's a bag. And we've got some Easter. There's a matching black pumpkin with a different design. It looks like they tried to make a haunted house or something here. All right. Oh, look at the face on this light up jack-o'-lantern. I like this little three headed one though. It looks kind of like something that we might've found in you know, the eighties, nineties. So it's nice to find those sorts of things in the Goodwill. All right. Lots of these little plush pumpkins today. And these goblets, there's another one. All right, uh, another candle holder. And not sure, I guess that is probably a candle holder as well. Okay, oh, look at these guys. It's a little hard to film this with one hand and hold it up. So uh, I think you can hold it by the string at the top and that uh, head would go down a little bit, but it is like a heavy ceramic. So I, I want to be very careful with it here. But he, he's a little pirate and he's got a little pirate mate in the back. So that's kind of neat. I love this sort of unusual stuff that you can find at the Goodwill. Look how cute this guy is. Okay. All right, moving on, we've got a costume. It is a ringmaster. Now, I find these costumes at the Goodwill are great when you want to make um, your own displays. I, I like to take the figures that I can buy cheaply and then dress them up in costumes, depending on whatever theme I'm working on. So when I can find costumes, especially like pirate costumes here at the Goodwill, I love it. Um, because then I'll dress up like my skeletons as, as pirates when I'm doing my pirate displays. Okay, here we have a tree with some ornamentation on it. Not bad. Oh, I love this little cat. It's kind of cute. That could be Halloween. It could be every day. I love dual purpose dis uh, decorations. Okay, another, I guess this is a candle holder too. You put the candles behind it, kind of makes the pumpkins glow. And we have a skull battery operated that lights up. That's different. I haven't seen one like that before fall plate, but I like the tombstone over here. Is that another candle holder? It's very heavy. I haven't seen that before either, nor have I seen something like this big box. So what, what could we put in our jack-o'-lantern box? I don't know. All right, we have a little Halloween sign. This is cute. I love how they have all the little different shapes and figures on it. And a witch's hat candle. I'm surprised nobody's burned it. You'll often find the half burned candles here at the Goodwill. A spider leaf bag, great for the kids. And it looks like we've got some more signage. Let's see what it says. Happy Halloween, little ghost and cat. And a witch's sign with a little broom. 
witch's to-do list. Someone was giving up on their witch theme, it looks like. Not bad. I mean, these are very heavy. It's not the dollar store type of signage. Um, so those usually run about like 10 bucks in the store, so not bad. And another mug. This one's pretty tall. It's only got the two cats. All right, anyway, we're moving on. Going to the next Goodwill. Let's see what they've got in store for us. In the end cap, I was captivated by this little figure of Dracula. $2 price tag, $4 original, $2.99 at the Goodwill. So, uh, take your pick. This little urn would be awesome if you made a little cemetery. And, of course, we've got some more pumpkin dishes. Three bucks. Price tag. So, 99 cents. That's a little more reasonable there. All right. My eye is drawn to this little orange mug here with a monster on it. Is that like a, a character from something? Or was it just a Halloween mug? I don't know. So, we've got a little light-up ghost. This is their holiday aisle. So, we're just going to... This is kind of more of how I experience it. I, often with these videos, you know, I chop it up and cut it um, just to avoid all of the walking around the store. But let's go ahead and just take a look down the aisle as I would as I'm shopping. And you'll see all the fun things as I see them here. We've got, um, don't know what these are. They're very glittery. And glitter pumpkins. We can DIY these if we wanted. For probably less than that. A couple of different designs there. This store has a, oh, look at that, um, a vintage looking centerpiece. Now, um, I happened to have been at this store a few weeks ago. I didn't get a chance to film, but they had a whole bunch of vintage posters like that. Not, they're not really posters, but like wall hangings. And I kick myself for not getting them. I don't know if they were reproductions. They probably were, but uh, I certainly had a nice wave of nostalgia and they were it was a pretty neat find. Okay, let's see. Moving on. Oh, what is that guy? <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. I just got some weird little Halloween crafty things in here. Now, at the other store, they kind of had the Halloween stuff segregated for the most part from the other holidays. This store, they just kind of throw everything together in one big... Uh, aisle, so it makes it a little harder to find the Halloween stuff. So oftentimes I'll have to walk up and down these aisles a few times because you'll never see everything the first time. You'll always notice there's something hidden behind a box or some other Christmas ornaments or something. So we're just going to give it a quick skim though and see what we can find. Like this boot, the witch's boot, and a bowl. Lots of bowls. I tend not to show them in the videos too much just because, again, they're everywhere and you can get all sorts of designs. A little trick-or-treat bag. Oh, I do actually like this bowl, though. It's got skeletons on it, and it's got this interesting um, sort of wavy shape. All right, and I also kind of stopped showing all of the pumpkin buckets because you can find lots of those there as well. That one was full of little miscellaneous pumpkins. Got some treat bags. And I think these are, that looks like it is a, um, a banner. And we have a little skeleton figure on a wooden base. I haven't seen that anywhere before, so I'm not sure where it came from. But it looks like he has a friend over here, too. This one doesn't want to stand up. Okay. We have let's see, a fall leaf there, but it looks like that might be pretty much it. Nope, I spoke too soon. There is a little Mickey-eared pumpkin sign over here, but I think that will do it for today. So I have to admit, I did come to the Goodwill a couple of weeks ago in between my last thrift store haul video, and I saw some pretty cool things on the shelves. I just wasn't in the mood to do a video, and a lot of that merchandise was already gone. So people are definitely snatching up the Halloween merchandise if you see something at the thrift store that you like, you really got to grab it. And as for me, I did grab one thing on this trip. It was this uh, spider, lo lo uh, can't speak, 
the spider leaf bag. And uh, I don't know what it is about these things. They just remind me of my childhood. There was something when I was a kid that was kind of so exciting about getting those pumpkin leaf bags. So I figured this is kind of a spider. It looks pretty fun and pretty big. Looks like you, it only has maybe four legs. So I don't know what it's really gonna look like, but uh, I guess we'll see in the fall because I certainly have a lot of leaves at my house and uh, now I've got somewhere to put them. So I look forward to sharing that with you at a later date, but until then, we'll do some more thrift store shopping, some more real store shopping, some product reviews, DIYs and so forth. So stay tuned. Till next time, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. Happy haunting.